born on 59 Hull. I was, my family came from 102 Salem Street. Over where the M&M &M cleaners, you can see the roof of it from here. They, they got the gate and all the trees up on top of that roof. It was over where the cleaners is. The place looks like a museum today. But uh, my mother was there. My father moved there with his family. I think they came from East Boston. I'm not gone back for cent uh, well a good number of years in Italy. Either celebrated on the feast day or dedicated to a miracle or something that happened in the town that brought that veneration about. And they have big. There used to be a lot more feasts in the neighborhood. They used to have them in the West End too. They revived Saint Dominic after all these years. But it's only a one-day procession, the North End. That feast came from the West End. Macal Conception and, uh, what was that, Marana La Letra they had. They, then they had that, those three in the West End, then they had them in the North End. The North End used to have more feasts than what it had. I think the very first feast the North End had was St. Michael. You know, a lot of the feasts never came back after the war. Some of them sank during the Depression. A lot of them, uh, after the war, they never came back. You know? And uh, during the 60s, what we had, they started with, uh, for a number of years, Marona Lagamini. They had lasted about eight or nine years, and then they just stopped. They had St. Rocco, St. Joseph, St. Agrippina, Marona de Lagava, the Fisherman, St. Anthony, and even in Italy, that one day for St. Lucy, they carried that tradition. thing is, St. Anthony in Italy is 13 days. St. Lucy will always get that one day after. Over here, it's only the weekend, but one day after. It's always there and here the last Sunday in August. It's always whatever the last Sunday falls on. That's why St. Lucy, every so many years, gets Labor Day. And I think it would have been that way this year. No, last year I think it was. Something. Every seven or eight years it falls on Labor Day for St. Lucy. But whatever day the last Sunday falls, for, that will be the Sunday for St. Anthony. You know? And they carried the tradition here. They couldn't go back and forth over there to do it. They carry it here. And a lot of the people have that They'll either keep it as a mass, or all the paisanas of that town get together, keep it as a mass, or they'll have a one-day celebration or something in the hall big enough, they'll put it in the street.